just thought our guys did a, a, a great job of responding uh, to the challenge uh, after um, playing at their place and giving up 91 points. Uh, and like I told them, to be honest with you, over 100 if you're counting um, the missed free throws that they uh, missed at their place and how it came back to defending and rebounding the basketball. Uh, thought we did a better job defending uh, and rebounding. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, I always tell our guys, offense will eventually take care of itself. But if we do what we need to do from a defensive standpoint with our age and our energy and our activity and make it tough on our opponents, we'll be fine um, on the offensive end of the floor, whether it's, it's going in or not. And I thought we just did a better job uh, of that. Not only um, a better job, I thought we started the first and the second half uh, with that energy from a defensive standpoint with, with uh, multiple stops. You mentioned energy and energy. Did you do anything schematically wise different, or was it just, just more than like the energy and edge? Uh, just to, uh, no, well, <clears throat> you know, again, being at 7220, um, you know, that's got to be something that plays in our favor. And going into this game and with, you know, the quick turnaround and the travel, we just wanted to make it um, a little bit more up tempo um, and constantly. Uh, pick up full court. Uh, we didn't really get into trapping that much uh, early, but we at least wanted them to, to work coming up the floor and then push it in transition. And we actually wanted to get to the glass a little bit more as well, even if that meant them getting out of transition. Um, again, we didn't mind that. Uh, we wanted the 72 20 uh, to come into play. But, you know, you know, Coach Ellis has obviously done you know, a great job with the program. You know, they took care of what they were supposed to do with their place, and I thought our guys responded. So, you know, we have one more. After the last game, you said that it was really just kind of an effort thing with the number of offensive rebounds that you let up. Did you, was the effort just better today, or was there anything different on the Well, the I, I, I don't necessarily thought it was much effort. I just thought they wanted it more uh, at their place. And I even thought after watching the film, we actually tried. They just, their effort was multiple. Our effort was single. We just thought we had the hit and that was it. And, you know, like I was telling our guys, the hidden part is the beginning. You know, once it goes up, now it becomes what we call an 80 20 basketball. And we got to be able to go chase them down. And our guards have to do a better job of coming in and helping out. You know, we, we had too many guys standing on the perimeter looking as. We had our big guys engaging, you know, with those guys. You know, and they have some pretty, pretty big guys, not necessarily height or girth. And I thought that that really uh, hurt us at their place. See the, the start of the second half. I mean, you know, they never trailed six point game at halftime. But I thought that the first few minutes, they, you know, Alec got a block and J Mac got hustle play, mm -hmm. keep it alive. He gets an add one, and then, you know, JJ gets an add one. I mean, I like, played well throughout the second half. I thought those opening minutes were pretty vital. Of, you know, it's made it takes and went out of their sales. Would you agree with that? Well, again, you know, what we talked about before the game was the first four minutes of the first half and the first four minutes of the second half after we came out of halftime. And didn't want to obviously go into complacent. Didn't want to get complacent at all. Even when uh, the league got into double digits, you know, it was all about uh, continuing to defend and rebound. We really talked about offense in the hub outside of just space and moving the basketball. And what was even more impressive was our guys constantly relaying that message to themselves about defending and rebounding, defending and rebounding. And I just thought we did a better job. And again, I complimented uh, you know, Jason on that effort. Uh, and then even Al being strong with the basketball once he threw it to him. But you know, again, we're going to have to do the same thing Friday. You know, we have to play with that same type of uh, energy and uh, uh, passion. And before the series, you weren't even sure if uh, Alex would even be playing. I guess he's feeling all right then. The you know what? I mean, he's one of our shooters, you know. And I didn't know how much I was going to play him tonight. But at the same time, I knew I was going to get him out there. And it pretty much was predicated on how Jason was playing. Um, and I thought Jason was playing hard, you know, the ball didn't fall uh, as much more. And then that, you know, Alex came in and, and, and kind of extended that thing with, with the three ball. Um, but again, you know, that's what he does for our program. You know, he, he shoots the 
basketball. And at the same time, he's a high basketball IQ kid too. So defensively and positionally, I thought he did a great job as well. Yeah, and your night, you know, is a questionable day of day. You think you might get him back on Friday? Oh, uh, that's what he said to me. <laughs> After shooting around, because he tried. You know, to go through shoot around, it didn't work. Um, and he said, Coach, I'm a, I'm, I'll be ready Friday. But I would say I would probably have to get some sort of confirmation uh, from Lance uh, before, so I would still label it day to day. But I thought in his absence, I thought Jonathan Barnes did a great job tonight, being that he hadn't played in a while. And I thought uh, uh, Jordan uh, did a better job after I put him in the second time. Uh, Monday's game, you guys said it was kind of an opportunity in terms of going on the road like that, but you know, playing a game, uh, the same team, you know, there and here, does it really hit home how, you know, just how much of a home court advantage it has been for you guys this year? Um, well, you know, I, I say this in my mind to try to get over the, the game at their place. Um, it, it, it's like that effect, you know, when, when the Heat was really good with LeBron. And when teams would come in, you know, they had the South Beach effect. Like, it was so nice and so beautiful. We went to the Myrtle Beach, and I mean, it was beautiful. <laughs> you know, I don't know if our guys wanted to play or go to the beach, you know, because um, they were out there <laughs> for a little bit, especially the day before, I mean, the day we left. But um, here's here's a, I mean, I, I do believe, you know, we like playing here at home. And I thought our crowd, Tonight was tremendous, and I thought they were our sixth man uh, with their energy. And again, you know, we just need that same you know type of turnout plus more.